G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 26 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, today's episode's a very special one for me. I'm going to be doing a pour for one of my old school friends, Sally Cook. Now, Sally actually messaged me a couple of months ago now and said, I've been watching all your videos and I absolutely love watching all your artworks come to life. And I was wondering, do you do custom work? And I replied, well, sort of. <laughs> if you choose the color palette and the size canvas you want, yeah, I'll do something for you. No worries at all. Sally then sent me these two photos here and said, this is the color palette that I'm sort of after. Now, I know that it's not really your color palette that you're used to, but are you up for the challenge? And I replied, well, yeah, definitely. That's definitely the field from my color palette choice. But yes, I'm up for the challenge for sure. I then asked her, was there a particular video of mine that you liked and you wanted me to try to replicate? She then said, episode number 12, which is this one, and episode number 13, which is this one. Now, as you can see there, they're two completely different um, fluid art techniques. So um, I've decided to do, uh, to, to try to rep replicate episode number 13, which is the bloom technique, where I actually um, blow cell activator across the colors um, that I put on the canvas. Now, this is actually the second time I'm actually doing this particular pour for Sally. Um, the reason being, and this is the first one. Now, I wasn't happy with it. As soon as I finished it, I, I didn't get the joy that I normally get. Like, I, 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 I wasn't doing the yous and the yes, 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 yes. I just didn't have that vibe. And so I, I sent, sent the photo to Sally and I said, look, I'm actually going to be redoing it because I'm, I'm not feeling it. I, I, I'm not feeling the joy. And she said, are you sure you're just not being hard on yourself? And I said, oh, of course I'm being hard on myself. I'm definitely my worst own critic. I'm, I'm, I suck at being my own critic, <laughs> but because it's going to a friend, I want to be happy with it as well. Um, I, I, and I said to Sally, I said, I don't want you to just accept it just because we're friends. Um, because it's going to be hanging on, on her wall. And I, I want her to be happy with it as well. And the fact that I wasn't happy with it was enough for me to, to want to scrape it. So I scraped it. Now... Um, I actually do have another canvas. So the canvas that um, I scraped, I'm actually going to be doing a piece, um, a galaxy piece um, for an up and coming um, collaboration that I'm organizing. Um, so the, the canvas is not going to waste, but I do have a fresh canvas for Sally. Now it, it is quite a big canvas. Um, it's a 24 by 60 inch canvas. And just to prove how big it is, <laughs> Here it is here. <laughs> there it is, 24 by 60. She's a huge one. <laughs> so that's hitting the roof just there. <laughs> and there's the bottom. So, and now that's on the ground and there's the top. <laughs> so you can definitely see it's a big one. <laughs> But I'm I'm very excited to um, to do it to do it again because I know what I did in the first one that I didn't like. Um, so I know what to do and what not to do with this particular one now. So I'm more excited to do round two than I was round one. <laughs> so I will be doing several blooms. Um, not just one, I'll be doing several blooms all over the canvas and then tilting it out. The canvas is way too big to sit on my um, Lazy Susan, even though both my Lazy Susans are quite big, the canvas is way too big to sit on, on, the, on the Lazy Susan, so I will be tilting them out, okay? 
Now, before we head over to the table and I show you what products I'm gonna be using, I've gotta show you, show you a few dry results. Now, the first dry result is actually from last week's episode where all of a sudden a horse head appeared and, and it was actually my mum that showed me the horse head to start with and ever since um, she showed me the, the horse head, I can't unsee it. That's all I can see. <laughs> so, which way is it? There. So can anyone else see that, that horse head there? <laughs> He's looking over his right shoulder. So, I, I, and I, I'm absolutely stoked that um, the horse head came about it because, um, in our family, we've got um, a, a remembrance um, uh, sort of thing for, for my brother being Pegasus, which is the flying horse. Um, so yeah, so this is it, this actually turned out to be very special for our whole family, knowing that there's a horse head there. So um, yeah, um, even though there was a couple of little issues with it, being like it looked like there was hairs and all that sort of stuff, it's dried and I can't really, I mean, you can see it if you look really carefully, but from far, you can't see it at all. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> but how sick did that turn out? Yoo-hoo-hoo! Yes! <laughs> and it's so smooth. I love how smooth this is. <laughs> now, um, for a lot of you out there, a lot of you know that I was on a live um, arts and crafts program um, last week as well called Mummy Guide Inc. Now that was so much fun. There was um, a couple of um, technical issues where um, my voice was like, it sounded like I was in a big hall, like it would just kept echoing. Um, but the show still went on and I still had a lot of fun. It, I was live for three hours. And at the end, oh my God, I could barely move. <laughs> but I just want to show you the dry results for that. So um, this was supposed to be a Galaxy sort of pour, which, I mean, to me, it is a Galaxy pour. And this one was supposed to be an ocean pour, but it turned out more like a Galaxy pour. <laughs> so, so these are the two um, that I did live on Mummy Guide Inc. So Lala... Thank you so much for allowing me to be on your program. I had so much fun. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Now that I've uh, told you what I'm going to be doing today, which is several blooms on a 40, uh, sorry, a 24 by 60 inch gallery wrapped um, canvas. Oh, and the canvas is from El Rado de Polo. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know how much you guys love me saying El Rado de Polo. So I'll say it once more time. El Rado de Polo. That's where the canvas is from. <laughs> All right. So now that I've told you what I'm going to be doing today, and I've showed you the dry results from last week and also from Mummy Guide Inc., let's head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using. And then, yeah, let's get started, guys. You. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products I'm going to be using today and as you guys know I already scraped the first painting um, and the reason why I'm talking about scraping of the first painting um, here while I'm talking about products is because well the base coat that I'm going to be using is actually a combination of all of these products that you see in front of us <laughs> because when I scraped off um, the canvas and put all that paint into um, a tin, it, it created such a nice cream like color that I'm, I'm like, I have to use that for the, for the base coat because this is stunning. So yeah, so the base coat that I'll be using actually consists of all of the products here that you see. <laughs> so let's talk about that one for a second and then I'll take away the colors that I won't be using, okay? So, the, the base coat itself actually consists mainly of the British Paints um, walls, interior, low sheen, extra bright, and also a little bit of white. Now, the reason why I, I say the difference between them 
extra bright is actually untinted paint and and that's what you actually use to color paint so say if you wanted to say paint your wall say a, well, i don't know like a, a weird green color for example um and the hardware store didn't have that well basically you get untinted paint and then you tint that paint to the color that you want okay so a lot of the base paint that i'll be using is actually made up of five parts extra bright to one part global um well i'll just say the colors so we've got global coral warm yellow and metallic gold so that's one part of the acrylic paints to five parts of the extra bright okay and the pigments that you see down the bottom here aren't all the um, pigments that i'll be using so I'll, I'll, i will actually be taking three of these um, pigments away um, so let's just talk about the ones that i'll take away so we've got tlp zeus aphrodite and golden peach okay so let's take those ones away because I won't be using these in the next painting. Okay. So these are the colors that I will be using in, in the painting. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> round two works. <laughs> okay, so... Um, now, as you guys know, I'll, I'll be doing a bloom. Um, so basically, when you're doing a bloom, you need to sort of um, lay um, tube paint down first, which that is consisted as a tube paint, which is just an acrylic paint. So the, the tube paint that I'll be using is global and the color is coral, okay? Now, the pigments that I'll be using is, they're all from TLP. And I've decided this is the order that I'm actually going to lay them on the canvas. So I'm going to sort of go coral and then this order here, which is Venus, White Haven, Ballet Slipper, um, Ball Gown, and that is Athena. Okay. And all of the... Um, Pigments have actually been mixed using the Shelly Art recipe, which is four parts Torben's Easy Coat in neutral to one part Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Okay. Now the acrylic paint, which is the Global Coral, is also mixed with the Shelly Art recipe, but as you guys know, it is different to the t um, to the pigments, and that's. Three parts Torben's Easy Coat in Neutral and to one part Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Okay. With the actual, um, um, oh, I had a mind blank. <laughs> With the actual cell activator, and I've just realized that um, I didn't put this down. <laughs> so I will be using um, Amsterdam. Um, titanium white as the actual cell activator and that's actually mixed with aussie flow troll four to one okay so that's four parts aussie flow troll to one part amsterdam titanium white okay now the reason why i've got the tape here is because um i do like to tape the back of the actual um framework of the actual canvas um, just so it keeps it fresh okay I also do have my little um, hair dryer just there not to straighten my beard <laughs> it's actually to blow the cell activator across all the colors and then we've also got um, my blowtorch here to get rid of um, any air bubbles and my trusty little skewer here well it's actually not li little is it <laughs> my trusty skewer to get rid of any of the stubborn um, air bubbles. Alrighty, so now that I've told you what products I'm gonna be using today, let's clear all this away and mix up some paint and yeah, then we'll get going. Thanks guys. 
Alrighty, so the first thing we've got to do is actually unwrap it. And now we're just going to put the, um, the little wedges in. The, the little wedges basically go in each of the corners to basically stretch out the canvas a little bit. Now when you're actually doing, when you're actually putting the, um, the wedges in, it's best to go from corner to opposite corner. Alrighty. Because that way it's actually stretching it um, in, a, in a correct fashion. Because if you went, if you started on this corner and went to this corner and then to this corner and then to the, the last corner, by the time you get to the fourth corner, it's actually stretched it um, at a wrong angle. So you need to go from opposite to opposite. Now, being a drummer, I've been, a, I've been playing the drums for over 30 years. It's the exact same fashion as actually changing over a drum skin. So you go from opposite to ends. So we've gone, we've gone from this one to this one. Now we're going to go back to this side over here. And then finish it off on the last corner here. Alrighty, now we're just going to tape up all of the, um, the woodwork the back of it so it looks nice and fresh when it's when it's finished and also the Orado di Polo that's actually engraved and I want to keep that nice and fresh so I want to put some tape over that as well so Alrighty, now because this is actually such a big canvas and these actual dividers are about an inch away from the actual canvas itself, um, so it doesn't sag, what I'm gonna, actually going to do, I'm going to put a small board on here and actually tape it to these cross beams just here. Alrighty. So, it's going to go like so. Like so. And then, just going to get some paper and fold it up and, and slide it underneath there. Now I've actually sort of um, folded it loosely, so there is still a little bit of give um, because I don't want the actual this to be poking poking through the other side. So yeah, so it's quite loosely folded. So when I flip this over, the weight of this board will actually um, compress it a little bit um, and sort of basically hold up the canvas without 
the actual board itself showing through. So yeah, so even by having the board under there, there's probably only about, I would say about three or four mil before it actually hits the actual board underneath there. So I think that's perfect. You. Now when you're actually putting these thumbtacks in, there is a, um, a join, like a, a diagonal line in the, in the actual um, wood. Don't put it in the diagonal join. Put it to the side of di the diagonal join. Because if you put it in that join bit, it's gonna weaken the actual frame itself and it could warp. So always when you're putting these in, don't go in the actual groove, go to the side of the groove. Now, this is actually all of the paint that was scraped off the old painting and it actually produced such the nicest cream color like this is insane how nice this is so this is going to be the background or the pillow paint and i think it turned out absolutely stunning so so yeah, so all of this paint in here is what was scraped off the first attempt for this, this painting. Alrighty. And like always, what I like to do is actually um, strain it as I'm pouring it onto the actual canvas. That way it prevents any... Um, any goobers and, and blobs and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Alrighty. So let's start pouring on. I'll start in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually, so now that I've got the base paint down, I'm just going to put some of that um, paint into this container um, so then I can actually 
um, do quick little puddles um, for the pill for the pillow paint. Now, sorry, sorry, I'm doing this off camera. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of the um, the pillow paint in here, I'm gonna do several little pillows and then gonna bloom over the top of the pillows. Alrighty. So I guess we'll start smack bang in the middle. So I've already strained this into the cup, okay? That actually looks a little bit too thick. So I might actually wipe that across and thin it down a little bit. Yeah, it's way too thick for a pillow. So this should be a bit better. Yeah, much better. But because I've just mixed it all up, it's now full of air bubbles. Thank you. 
fun job of tilting it out.
Alrighty guys, unfortunately my battery ran out. <laughs> um, I was actually filming this for about two hours um, and I didn't realize that my battery ran out. Um, but I almost captured all of it. But, so I've, ch I've charged up my phone. I've actually washed my hands, so... My hands are actually clean right now, <laughs> but I'm, I'm holding the phone like here it is now because OMG, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Check out this. I think this is the best, best, best thing that I have ever done. I am absolutely blown away that this thing turned out as good as this is. Yahoo! I am... Ah! Oh, you have no idea how happy I am right now. This is... OMG, look at that! This thing is phenomenal! I've ran the full length of the footy field and we've got a try! Well, for you guys in America, it's a touchdown! Yahoo! Woo! I am super stoked! This is sick! My golly gosh! Like, check out the shimmer on all that gold! So in one direction, we've got like a, a peachy pink sort of tone. And on the other direction, we've got gold shimmer, baby. Yeah, baby. Yahoo! Like, seriously, guys, I think this is my best work that I have ever, ever, ever done. And Sally, if you don't like this, this one definitely is going on my wall. So I really hope you like this one as much as I do because Guys, I am absolutely blown away with this. Like, the colour shift of the gold and the peach and the pink and the beige and the cream. Oh my golly gosh.
I'm sure every single one of my neighbors can hear me right now. <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 This is sick! All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this episode. And also, I, I want to thank Sally Cook for challenging me to, to use this color palette. Because, I tell you what, I'm in love with this color palette. I am going to be doing so many more pieces that look like this. Because, wow, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm in love with this piece. This is sick. Alrighty, guys. One more time. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. This one was stressful at the start because I wasn't happy with the first one. But I am so glad that I... I I, I went with my gut instinct and and scraped it and done a brand new one because wow this thing is absolutely phenomenal all right guys if you think I'm deserving of a thumbs up please hit the like button and give us a thumbs up I'd really love to see thousands and thousands and thousands of thumbs ups on this one <laughs> and if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to this lunatic <laughs> please hit the subscribe button and then hit the little dark bell that'll indicate when I actually upload new videos like this I do upload a video every week so you will get a notification every week if you do hit that dark little bell. And if you think any of your friends or any of your family would love to see me create this, please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look at it. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. And again, Sally, thank you so much for challenging me with this color palette. <laughs> I absolutely love this piece. All right, guys. Wow, I've had so much fun on this one. And I'm super, super, super stoked with how it turned out. This is the fine art of distraction. <laughs>